Hi, Mark McGinnis with you today. Just wanted to um, share some great strategies that we've come across on the Boss Podcast. Um, of course, one of the great things about being the host of the Boss Podcast, the Best of Social Selling Podcast, is that we get some fantastic guests on, and those guests often share some really great strategies, and um, I get to implement some of those. So I've just been using one of those in particular, and I wanted to share that with you today so that um, potentially you might be able to use this and get the same sort of results as what I'm getting. And and today I'm going to talk about Phil Gerbyshank's uh, birthday strategy. So um, very, what he's saying is is that every day you get a notification saying that there's a bunch of people in your network whose birthday it is, and then we should use that um, birthday opportunity to reach out to people and start a conversation. And that's exactly what I've been doing, and I've been getting great success. I've been having about um, a 60% response rate. And the other thing that it does is it provides me with a really good opportunity to look at my network as those birthdays come through and see if those people um, should still be in my network because, you know, people's roles and responsibilities change, people's, um, you know, activity levels on LinkedIn change. And so, you know, taking people out of your network is, is, is a good way to maintain a strong network of interactive people. So um, let me show you um, how I've been doing that and some little key pieces around that. So... The first thing, you may have turned your birthday notifications off. If you're like me, I've done that. So you need to be able to turn them back on. And so what you need to do is come across to your settings, um, which which is located here. Okay, privacy and settings. And that opens up this tab here. And we go across to communications. So you've got one, two, three, four. We come down uh, here and you'll see that it's listed the different types of notifications that present to you on LinkedIn. And this comes up inside your notification. You can see here, network, groups, events, anniversaries, birthdays, invites. You want to make sure they're turned on. So that, that's where you, where you find those. Turn that on. Took me about 24 hours for that to, to come live. Um, and then when you're going through your normal routine, what you'll do is you're in your network, in your notifications, you'll see that um, at least here in Australia in the morning, you'll get a notification that, it's a certain amount of people's birthdays. And, and you can see here, this is the case. So with about 7,000 connections, I'm finding I've got about a ratio of one person per thousand every day. Um, so if you've got a thousand connections, you, you might expect to find one birthday a day. And I think that's because a lot of people have their birthday turned off. So I don't have my birthday, for example, um, on LinkedIn. So you wouldn't get a notification that my birthday popped up, which is the 22nd of December, by the way. Okay, so so this is the um, six people's birthday. This is how it presents. I've just right-clicked and opened those profiles up. And then let's have a quick look at, and do some little live editing, if you like. So uh, Xavier, 221 connections. Doesn't look like he's very active here on LinkedIn at all. No activity, very low levels of experience. Um, so what I mean by that experience is very low levels of information supplied as his experience. Now, I would typically disconnect from this person. However, okay, this is an ex-client of mine and he's in the business services sector. So this is somebody that I would want to reconnect with, restart a conversation with. So the way that I would do that would be very simply, um, okay, so we've swapped a couple of messages and he actually replied, although this is way back in 2017. So I do have... um, a message little sub template that I use. Well, that's not it. So let me find that. So I have it over here in notes. Uh, you know, there I go. So I, mean, I noticed today's your birthday. Congratulations. Hope you're having an awesome day. I noticed we've been connected for a while. So this is actually 2017. And haven't swapped, so we've swapped a couple of messages, too many messages. So I thought I'd use the birthday as opposite to reach out and say, hey, um, how are you going? Then I like to always put a V, very best. Um, and then what I'm finding is just that simple thing. So so Xavier's not very interactive. He's, he's um, not spending a lot of time on LinkedIn. I suspect he's somebody who is you know, reading posts and not, not interacting, this might flush him out. We might be able to get a conversation. So by having that notification pop up that it's his birthday, it gives me the opportunity to look for these types of um, 
people in my network where I can start a conversation. We go next across to the next one, Jay. So Jay is active business development, so he will definitely get a message from me. Let's uh, enterprise sales manager, Clever Trap. So you definitely get a message from me. Um, not very active, uh, as you can see, but quite a few followers. And again, a salesperson, so perfect. Uh, Stacy. Um, so networker, speaker, and MC. Expats. Financial services subcommittee. So that's you know, financial services is something that I've. I work in a lot, so definitely be sending Stacey a, a birthday. Jess Enright used to be my account manager at LinkedIn, if I remember correctly. So Jess will be getting a, and she's of course active. Jess will be getting a, yeah, there you go. Jess will be getting a happy birthday from me. Sally Tucker, business development manager, dinner by Heston. Okay, so she's in sales trying to drive business. Um, not a lot of activity here on LinkedIn. So, you know, potentially I might, delete that connection with Sally, but Sally's a business in business development, so she's definitely going to get a message from me. Chris Fraser, director, member of the Council of Rugby. Okay, I'm not sure where the alignment is here. 56 mutual connections, so it looks like he was active at some point. Okay, so for the sake of this demonstration, so he used to be a business development executive, and I suspect that's when we connected. Um, it doesn't look like Chris is um, active or in a business development role anymore. So therefore, he might be somebody that I would remove the connection from and use the birthday strategy as an opportunity to try and find, um, you know, as people rotate through their birthdays, gives me an opportunity to, to, to do some network housekeeping in a really easy way. So that's Phil Gerbyshank's um, birthday strategy in play. Um, 100% recommend you give that a go. Um, and of course, I'd love you to tune in and listen to the Boss podcast, uh, where we have some great LinkedIn strategies shared every week from some really, really strong uh, LinkedIn and social selling experts from all over the globe. I'm Mark Ringinus. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, that's the birthday strategy. Speak soon. Bye.